Latinos and, 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 and black people, we, we have to move into real estate because they're trying to move us out. Oh, yeah. Especially people like Donald Trump. Come on, man. Everything. Everything. And the only way they can, we, okay, the only way they can gentrify is if we sell out. We have to sell what we have in order for them to take it all, right? Yeah. That's it. That's the strategy. Hold. Hold. No matter how hard things get, hold. Hold it, right? Because in the game of Monopoly, if you ever played the game Monopoly, mm -hmm. the only way you win the game is by holding the property you have, right? Getting three properties, getting hotels, and beating ass, right? But you can't win if you're selling every property you have, right? You can never build foundation, you can never build wealth until you hold what you have. We gotta hold. Look at the way, look at the way we took over Washington Heights, right? At first it wasn't all run by Dominicans, but slowly but surely, we bought and we held. We bought and we held. We bought and we held. And now it's a bunch of Dominicans. Well, they try to do the same shit. Absolutely, they doing it. They, I know they doing it. The, the Inwood uh, part of, of Washington Heights, mm -hmm. all white. You go to Mama Juana, you're going to see a whole bunch of white. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think any Dominican are working in an apartment in Inwood right now. Yeah. But we have a steal. But yeah. it's expensive. Yeah, of course. We're talking about 2500 Pay for play now. Now you got to pay to play. Hey man, look, all I'm saying is this, we gotta play a different game. And like, I tell my kids all the time, like even with the drug thing, right? You can get, it. it's nice, while it's nice. But when you gotta live your life looking over your shoulder, no, no. that shit ain't nice. That shit ain't no, nice. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not nice. Like, there's nothing nice about that. Having to look over your shoulder, why are you spending your money? That's not spending your money. Now you noticing you're spending somebody else's money. That shit is crazy. And you shouldn't have to, like, that shouldn't be the only way. But at times we feel like it is. So that's why we make the choice. Like you said, you stuck, right? And that and that feeling of being stuck will make you do. And the fucking system push you. I just told you this yesterday. Happened to me yesterday. I am. Um, Somebody from um, from Hoboken, yeah, across to LaGuardia Airport. Right? Since I don't have the TOC license, I have now uh, your license plate, but the regular one, I don't have the TOC. I cannot pick up anybody from the airport, right? Yeah. So this guy, the white guy, after I drop off the person, right? He knocked my window. He says, "Can you take me to JFK? How much are you gonna charge me?" He said, "I, say, um, I don't know, sir, because I never been." Scar I got I got scars on my look, beta. I mean, I'm, if I open up my shirt, you'll see scars on my shoulders, both shoulders. I got beat up by 15 cops for doing nothing. 
yo, dude, you, you, you preaching to the choir right now. I got into real estate after I got beat up by them. Because I was like, my lawyer told me to move out of New York because he said, you're in danger. And I was. They Where started harassing my mom. They started harassing my family. Where you live over there? East New York. East New York? Yeah. Oh, that's hot. Yo, the 75th Precinct beat the... Yo, I, they tore ligaments in both my soldiers. I have to have reconstructive surgery in both of them. And I have to have uh, my ligaments to, uh, repaired in my wrist. You Yo, sold those motherfuckers? Yeah, but I'm going to be in court for the next 20 years. But I don't care. I'm coming for them, man. That's not right. They That is entrapment, what they did to you. Yo, it don't matter. I'm coming for the, I'm coming for what's right. I don't care about the money. I'm coming for what's right. You go remember my name. They were able to walk away from that like it was another day. That's it. They put you in the hospital. In the hospital. Yo, I couldn't move my arms. I had to retrain my arms how to work, man. I'm telling you, the last year and a half, I've been busting my ass to get back to this. Where I am right now, yo, I've shed more than damn near 50, like 40 pounds. I've, yo, I've been working my ass off just to be better. Because the doctor told me, yo, you'll never be the same. The doctor told me, yo, don't worry. Um, listen, just, just do your rehab, like your rehabilitation. And, you know, you, you'll be, you'll be... You'll be a piece of what you were. You'll never be the same. I said, what? All right. So I gave I gave my surgery in my wrist a year. Let that heal. Then I started pounding. From the moment they opened the gym five minutes from me, I've been going at least three or four days a week, two hours a day. Doing something. Doing something, moving. Because I'm like, yo, I refuse to let any human being take hope from me. God gave me hope. So the way you say you stuck, I don't believe it. Because you got hope. Okay. They trapped you, but you got hope, dog. You feel me? They made me pay a lot, you know, for, for, that, for that, that thing that I fucking drug, thing that I did. Yeah. They put me in that situation. Not because I want to. They put me in that situation. They push me. Like they pushed me yesterday. So how are you gonna give me a ticket? Fifteen hundred dollars. When I try to make money, I try to support myself. You know how much money I was I, I made by, uh, by the time I, I delivered that guy over there? Huh. I twenty nine dollars. And for me it was a blessing. Somebody told me fifty dollars to JFK. The bless. And then yeah. this guy he was pushing me to do the crime. They say the crime because it's a crime. This is something that is illegal. Yeah. All right? Why you push me to do it when you know I need it? I'm not a uniform like you. Yeah. I'm gonna take your word because you've been through a lot of shit. Yeah.